Rescue, Data and Repair, my name is Dr. Ben. Happy welcome to a new video and today we just fixed an iPhone 12 with a broken screen and a broken face ID, okay? But we don't want to replace the screen in a certified Apple repair because the customer said, no, that's too expensive for me. But I don't want to have an error message on the screen or on the phone that the screen has been changed. So we will use a refurbished screen. We will transplant the IC from the original screen so that, to that refurbished screen to get a fully working device with no error message on the screen, okay? Yeah. Should we do that, Tim? Please do it, Let's go, Aslak. What we need for getting no error message is transplanting this chip. Frida will stay here while we're just finishing that. So we need to take out the chip. After we got out this chip, we have to clean it. So we have no error message for the screen, it's working fine. So we go straight to, ta oh, the screws I already took out. That's great. So I just drink two less beer, not enough beer and the head doesn't want to work like it should work. So now we just lift out the screen. Dr. Ben, not Dr. Sven. So, Refox RS50, you did a great job again. So that's pretty nice and we just take out the screen. We just take out this screen, but there is a little problem with the screen. You see, the screen is losing from the frame and that's not caused by our RS50. That's just like this screen is totally f You see? So it's broken, it's f but not a problem. We will replace that and then it will work fine again. So now we just disconnect the screen. Now we disconnect the screen and what we need for getting no error message is transplanting this chip to the new screen. So not a problem. The customer had a little water contact. You can see here some signs of water and here right in front of the dark projector for me it looks like there was a little water contact, not much but a little. So we have to test if the dot is okay or not. Now we take our V1 SE, we connect our front assembly, our true depth unit and connect the V1 SE to the PC. Quit online, wait for the PC detecting, connect again, then we click on detect and we see that S, A, D, M and B are abnormal. So we do a local backup of the data from the Romeo IC. We save that to the PC, data is saved. After that we disconnect and we take a new cable, thanks to JC for the, these great cables here. And then we just connect the new cable to the JC and we say write from PC and we have to choose the right file here. So we need a list and from when so details yes and then we need to see for the date today is the 9th of 9th of December and that's pretty fine. So writing burning is complete and perfect we have data right on this chip of the flex. Great. 
What should we do now, Mr. Tim? Swap. Swap, yes. Swap. I don't have my um, Knipex here. Oh, that would be pretty nice. Okay. So now we just need to use a Knipex. We do it like that. Then we just take this holder which we used a lot of times like you see we have to clean it i will go to the go right to the camera here and after that we just take the clue away pretty nice okay Just do it like that here. We are on the 12 series. And now we just need to lose. We just need to lose. Ah, my back hurts terrible, so I need to do it like that. We need to lose the dart projector from the prison like this yeah great so we got it out dr ben just needs to move because my back really hurts perhaps i'm dead in a few days i don't know so and now what do we need to do now tim my friend take a look under the microscope take a look under the microscope you are right here so here we have the dart projector and now we just need to remove this MOSFET here like this after that we need to build a little solder bridge between oh between this pad this, do you see this iron it's totally totally done yeah okay so we need to connect these both pins here because my iron was really f I just cut away a little bit of solder. So the tip was the tip was really done completely. But okay, not a problem. You always need to use your hat to find a solution. So and now it's all about to remove the dot from the flex. So that's pretty fine. Like this. And now we just work right on the dot. Normally I have another tool here. Today I do it with that one because I don't want to say Tim I need this and Tim I need this and Tim I need that. So we do it in this way. We use this WL single shaft board holder, which you can buy at our online shop, which comes online within the next week, I think. And there we have a lot of nice tools and you can buy them there. That's good news, Tim, or not? Yes, sir. So, and now. I know that I have the dust absorber off, but for only only this little bit doesn't make any sense for me to turn on that in this room. So now 
doing like that. Cleaning here and here. And we can go to the new flex. Flex! <laughs> I know what you wanted to say, Tim. I'm just like a magician, I can read your, your thoughts. Grr. Grr. Have a look for Dirty Gao Amok Killer on YouTube if you want to see Dr. Ben in action. Okay. BLK Amok Killer. You need to search on YouTube to see Dr. Ben in best form. This is my, my son, Dr. Fredo. Say hello, Fredo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fredo will stay here while we're just finishing that. So we have to solder this down. Okay, do you see? We soldered this down, looks pretty fine. So now we just need to clean the flex. Like you see here. Guck mal, Fredo, wir müssen hier einmal sauber machen. So sorry if I'm talking a little bit of German, it's just to talk with my son, okay? So we do it like that. What can we do now, Dr. Tim? I don't know, ask Dr. Fredo. Okay. Fredo, guck mal, wir gehen jetzt hin und testen das hier einmal. So we just do a quick test run. We click here on detect to see if all is fine again and we see normal, okay? Normal is always good and now we can just get back this flex. We can get back this flex to the true depth unit. We just get it in like this and that's what I said in videos before. We are a family company so the kids come to me and just visit me sometimes, okay? So, we go under the microscope and have a look. Okay, and now we need this one here. Okay, so we need to... You can buy that, by the way, in our shop too. Sorry, sorry, little, um, little break because my son just needed me. So now we just finish that, okay? So we need to place this like here and this like here, okay? We control on the microscope, Tim, to see if this is fine. Yeah, perfect, okay? Adjusted perfectly and now we just need to use glue. We use this one. You can get it at our online shop. I will post the link under the video as soon as we are ready to go online. We are almost done and this time we are really almost done. So we wanted to, to go online several times but we never had time. Now, um, now we are really, really online soon. Everything already works fine just about to get the products completely in and then you can buy if you want at our online shop. So we have to add some glue here and then we have to use the hot air to dry the glue. So it's iPhone 12 iPhone 12, you need to work in another way as for the iPhone X, XS, 11, 11 Pro. So it's all a little different and therefore we just need to know in which area we need to get in the clue and things like that. So and this just takes a little time to get the clue in and I always do it in here at the side fine and now we can just use some hot air again to dry the glue 
Can you see everything here in the video, Tim? Yes. I know it's always bad to see if we do things like that. But we try to show you every, everything as good as possible, okay? So now we just let it stay here, okay? Or let it stay here. Now we just need to transplant the chip from this screen here to this screen here. Now we just need to take out the screws here. So we need to take out the screws. I hope uh, it's okay for you that my, my son is within the video. For me, it's okay. Just close the door, Tim. It's okay. I can I can do this with the, the with the help of my son. It's not a problem at all. So now we just need to use some hot air. Just here. Ich glaube, damit hast du dir eben wehgetan, Fredo, ne? Doch, doch, deshalb Finger lieber weg. And now we just need to take out this cable. Nur mit dem. Oh, das war dann ja nicht schlimm, weil das du ist nicht schade. Du musst nur so dumme Messer, Papa. I don't know, but knives are always sharp. So, always know, always be patient and not... This is this tool I really love. If my son would, <laughs> would cut this... I would be really angry at this point. So, we need to do what now, Tim? Hey. Yeah, first we need to take it out on the old screen. I try to show it to you like that. So I glue the screen here at this position. Then I need the knip -ax. And now, Fredo, now it's getting hot. Fredo, jetzt wird's richtig warm. Also bitte. Bisschen vorsichtig. And now we just need to take out this chip. Bitte nichts machen mit der Maus. So we need to take out the chip. Fredo, have a look. Guck mal hier. Pass auf, pass auf, pass auf, was passiert? We just have a look what happens. And we got the chip out. It's really hot now. Sehr heiß, Fredo, jetzt. Huh? So. After we got out this chip, we have to clean it. And now we just need to, to take the solder from the chip, like this. The kids always want to help. And that's pretty okay, I think. As long as they don't destroy anything. So now we just clean the chip. And we clean the chip around by using the plate. Like this. Always take care if you're using the knife. And after that, I don't have toilet paper here, but I use this one here. Pretty okay too, I hope. Now we just need to reball that. And for reballing that, we just take a stencil, okay? Stencil which matches. A stencil with which matches. Like this. And this looks pretty good or not. So and we get paste into the stencil. Yeah, okay. I wanted to lose, but we do it like that. Tim has a lot of cutting work later because to talk to my son. <laughs> so, okay. Great. So we just rebolt that chip. We wait a short time. 
and then we just remove the stencil and have a look at the chip the chip looks pretty fine so you can see it here and now we just need to get this chip to the new screen and here we have the new screen and I just add a little bit of flux here the chip here like this and then it's important to just have a look to don't do any damages to the screen any heat damages like ever so I just use a little bit of that tape and we just solder down that chip down to the screen okay now we just need to go down with the hot air to the chip Tim is okay for the camera okay Okay, I think we are done. Front side of the screen, look that you don't have any yellow points, yellow marks like ever. So, and now we just lift out this clue and we built down the front flex and as you see I can ich brauche den einen zum zum reparieren and I can even work with my son next to me without getting irritated okay that's something you need to learn too, or not, Tim? Yeah. So if you have kids... That's a good idea. In Deutschland sagen wir, wir brauchen Nerven. Was heißt denn das? We just need to calm down in our heads. If kids come to the workshop and you're doing a video and they want to visit you, it's just like keep calm and do your job or not. Okay. Now we need to check if this is all fine or before we need to, uh, we can check this. We need to take out this one here. So have a look if this is sitting good. Yeah, that's fine. So, and now we just need to get the true depth unit back to the phone. Back to the phone, connecting the cables. Connecting the cables here. Connect the next cable and that's pretty fine have a look that you don't destroy this chip in any way and then we can connect the screen so touch and screen connecting the front flex connecting the battery and now we can just do a test run Tim. We have an apple, that's pretty nice, I think. It, boot, it boots up and it's, there is no data on it. Okay, so we can just configure the phone. We just wait until we can see Wi-Fi to activate the phone. Here we are. 
Tim will plur this so you don't know the password of my Wi-Fi here. But you see the touch is working. That's pretty fine. Oh, yeah. The touch is working, which is pretty fine. Now activation and Dr. Ben has to Oh, yeah, it's multitasking really, but totally okay for me with a hurting back. So we just need to wait here. So we wait until the phone is activated. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, that's aber lieb von dir. And now we need to check if the face ID wants to work. Oh, it's bad light in here. So we go back and I try to set it up and the screen isn't clicked in. So let me just do it like that because the screen isn't clicked in. So I do it like that. It's more easy to get it to get it done. And here you can see, as soon as I click in the screen in the right way, it will work fine. I will show that to you, not a problem. You see here, face ID has been activated. As code, we just take four times the zero. Please don't destroy my image, boy. So, now I want to show you that we don't have an error message for the screen because we uh, we changed the screen, we transplanted the chip, we have a fine working touch, we have a nice looking screen and um, now it's all about showing you that we have no error message for that. And then our customer has a phone without error message for the screen, so it looks like original, he has a working face ID and everything is nice, or not Tim? Yeah, baby. That's what, what it should be. That is like it should be. That is that's like. like. Yeah, that's what it should be like. Thanks a lot. Your English is pretty good. I think you had English um, in the school and uh, you are studying. So I think in study, perhaps sometimes you need in your English too. So my English is really bad, but okay for doing videos. I think okay for doing videos. So if we go now to here, normally we have something like. Um, messages and um, the screen here is only um, for the eSIM and this is only for um, config Apple ID Siri face ID and Apple pay so we have no error message for the screen it's working fine we have a face ID which is working fine even for unlocking the phone like you see so now um, we are done with a nice repair or not Tim yeah, baby. And now, like you see, we have even a fine working face ID. We have no error message for the screen. All is looking nice. So screen quality is perfect. We have a nice working touch ID for this phone, a touch ID face ID for this phone. Yo, Dr. Ben, Dr. Fredo, goodbye. Have a nice day and we see us with the next one. Don't forget to subscribe the channel if you like the video, okay? Thanks a lot and I'm out, baby. Boomy.